hey guys welcome back to my channel i'll be doing a different video but this time this one is on cold tail i'll be cooking some cold tail but here i'm having it in the pot i'm gonna brown it first and then i'll continue to show you the process of cooking a cold tail yes i am back again simmering down the cow tail it's not finished as yet you know i'm gonna brown it a little more and then i put it to pressure because it can't be cooked like normally meat that you would cook so i'm going to pressure it for an hour so i'm going to guys i'm here i'm gonna add some bean but the bean that i'm be adding is the one that you pick off the tree not the can one because because the cow tail is a little bit harder to cook than any other meat so i'll be adding the bean just like this i didn't salt the bean i added it just at it as it is and i'll be adding some hot water so here i'll be adding the bean Next, I'll be putting in the hot water to cover the meat. And I will be put and I will be putting on the pressure for now. Special cook ahead. We should be pressure for an hour or yes guys. I'm done to the finishing of the cow tail and I have some carrot here, some scallion, onion, a little bit of thyme and a pepper, a color colorado and some maggi all proper seasoning and I make up a little flour here to put some spinach dumpling in it and I'm all about re-seasoning again to get that nice bonus flavor so here is my cow tail in the pot I'm just adding some carrot adding the scallion the onion pepper and some thyme and making the spinach dumpling to drop into it now you have to make them small Just adding a half a teaspoon of the Colorado. I'm half of the Maggi season.
you know the foot the first seasoning of the meat that we all boiled out already so you have to re-season the pot again here I just gonna give it, give it a little push to let the dumplings finish dumpling go down and I'm going to add a little small piece of sweet pepper not a lot thank you for watching my video